Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Erica with all the tattoos. <laughs> um, today uh, I wanted to film or tonight I wanted to film a video dedicated to all of my tattoos. Um, but before I jump into that, I wanted to give a shout out to Nash's wallet. Um, I purchased some stuff, I believe the beginning of March and, um, I just got my stuff. I got it yesterday and because I live in Canada, it takes a lot longer for, you know, international stuff to come. Um, and same with going out. Um, but anyway, I bought this shirt. This is one of her shirts, the budgeter shirt. Um, it's long sleeve, as you can tell. I also got a um, binder with envelopes um, and budget trackers, which I just love. And uh, I just wanted to put out there that... Um, you know, I really, 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 really love supporting small businesses because, um, you know, they put their, all their love and support and all their hard work into creating something that is potentially their baby. Um, and yeah, so if you haven't bought anything from Nash's wallet, um, I highly recommend that you do because she like you can tell she puts in so much hard work um i'll i will leave her the link to her videos in the uh, description as well as her shop and her instagram so anyway um i know tattoos are something that a lot of people like to get um i'm i love tattoos um and uh, I know that it can put a dent into your budget. Um, trust me. I've had times where I didn't even think about my budget. I just went and did my tattoos. But um, so I'm going to go through them and I'm going to, um, if I can remember how much I paid for them and kind of the meaning behind them. So yeah. Okay. So my first one I have is right here. It says, let go, let God. And um, that was my first tattoo. And because and I got it there because um, I have anxiety. And so when, you know, I get anxious or um, my depression really kicks in, um, it reminds me to look at my arm and be like, okay, I can't handle this. Um, but God can if I just push it over to him because, you know, um, he has a bigger purpose for me. Uh, the second one I got is right here on my wrist. Uh, it says higher than I and a mountain. Um, when I first got it, a lot of people thought of other things, but I got it because... Um, I wanted a wrist tattoo, but I didn't know what, and this one was on a whim. Um, I was taking the bus one day, and I was like, I really want a tattoo. So I looked it up, called my tattoo shop, and was like, hey, um, do you guys do walk-ins? And they were like, yeah. So I, I went in. I think it was like a hundred and something. Um... My first one was 80 bucks. Um, so yeah, and then I got this one here, my hand one, free. Um, I got it because I, um, I saw uh, Demi Lovato get it. Um, and, I, and, I, and it was like, and, and I wasn't trying to copy her in any way, shape or form. Um, I just really liked it. Um, but I got it because, um, it's a way to, you know, remind myself that, um, yes, I'm on a journey to finding who I am. 
uh, working through my anxiety and all that stuff. Um, but I'm learning how to be free from it all. So, um, yeah, that was that one. Um, and then, oh, this one. Uh, this one is uh, my niece's birthday in numeral, uh, Roman numeral numbers. Um, again, that one was just on a whim. Um, but I really, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, this one, the free one, was about 150 Canadian, of course. Um, this one was about two-ish, 200-ish, I believe. Anyway, I don't know. I think that's how much it was. Um, and then, I, no, and then I got my finger tattoo here, which is, it says, love me. Sorry, I wasn't flicking anybody off. It's just, it was on the middle finger, so yeah. Um, and it, it's just kind of like a reminder, um, for me to really love myself and really, um, you know, I love me. I am who I am. And, uh, if nobody else loves me, that's okay because I love myself. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And then that was about, oh gosh, um, I can't remember that much but that was before the pandemic when ev before everything shut down <laughs> um because we didn't I didn't believe that everything was gonna shut down for so long I thought it was just like two weeks and then that was it but yeah no and then I got this one the bird cage and the bird um that one means a lot to me um it's just a reminder um, of, you know, me being able to f be free and fly wherever I feel like flying. Um, my, you know, uh, if it's from my anxiety, my depression, um, you know, my disability, my intellectual disability, whatever. But um, it really means a lot to me because um, I am also the only person in my family with a degree, going for a degree. Um, I'm getting my bachelor's degree. And, um, I, you know, that's something that my family, no one in my family has. No, no one in my family ever was furthering their education. But anyway, I, I, I really liked it. Um, and, uh, it was about 200, um, that's all the tattoos I have, but yeah, um, and those are, the, that's the meaning behind them all, but yeah, um, also a lot of people ask me, do tattoos hurt? And yes, tattoos hurt. My most painful one, a lot of people ask me, uh, it was my fing finger tattoo. Um, that one hurt a lot, uh, just cause it's on the bone and there's not enough meat in the um, finger. So it hurt and plus, it, like I say, it's on the bone. Um, the next one that really hurt was my birdcage, my birdcage and my bird that one really hurt a lot just because I wasn't used to um sitting there for so long because my other ones were just kind of done um but I had to do a lot of arm work for that um because I had to lay a certain way turn my arm a certain way um and yeah and the shading part of it really um hurt and um yeah as well my wrist hurt the wrist tattoo hurt um yeah because it's like the vein um and yeah but 
I can I can handle it. Um, my my next tattoo I want to get up here, but I'm not sure. I heard that was that's <coughs> excuse me really painful, but that's gonna be another time because um, I really want to stick within my budget. Um, so yeah, and last month or this month. Um, was a rough one was a rough one for me after I had done my update I ended up um, going into my sinking funds and I know a lot of people don't need to know this but uh, I just want to put it out there because then it holds me accountable and I can look back at this and be like oh I remember in March I went full out on my sinking funds so um, yeah just a little reminder for myself. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have. Um, I'm in my bedroom in my parents' house. Um, also I have good news as well before I go. Um, <clears throat> I posted on my Instagram story, um, that I had signed a contract for, um, supportive housing and uh, I was able to book myself an appointment which is great because that means I can live on my own I've never lived on my own and I'm 30 the only time I've really lived alone was this year because I was living at school but on my own um, and uh, so that's all I have. Um, again, thank you all for supporting my journey. Um, I hope these videos are helpful for you. Um, and uh, yeah, just be prepared as I have a giveaway going on for 100 subscribers. So um, if you are new, please consider subscribing and join the family. Um, or not family, but the group. Um, we can learn from each other. So, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to start doing now in the comments is starting up a conversation. Uh, so, you know, if anyone has any tips that they, or questions about uh, budgeting and maybe some of the more experienced budgeters can um answer some questions if any new budgeters have questions i mean i i will be answering questions um but yeah uh if you are returning thank you very much for coming back um and also i have my give i think i mentioned this i think i'm re repeating myself but i have a giveaway for um 100 subscribers so two winners will be receiving um, Amazon gift cards. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be mailing them out c just because it depends on where the winners are living. If they're here in Canada, it'll be fine because I can just get a gift card, send it out. Um, but if they're in the States or, yeah, in the States, um, I would have to do e-gift card. Uh, I haven't done it, so, um, if anyone has done that, if they could send, if they could write in the comments or <laughs> check out or message me on Instagram, that would be great. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Um, oh, um, yeah. Another thing, um because I just shown all my tattoos, which one is your favorite? If you have a favorite tattoo, um, yeah, write it down in the comments and uh, yeah, let's get these conversations starting. <laughs> I wanna get to know y'all. Anyway, I'm done rambling. <laughs> so uh, yeah, How, I hope you have a good evening, good night, good day, good morning, good afternoon wherever you are in the world. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which is going to be cash stuffing. So yeah. Bye guys.